Well, thanks again for joining me on this video adventure of my truck rebuild. In this episode, I've got a few things lined up. I got some stills, and you guys know how much I hate stills, but that's all I ha really have on these parts. So these are parts that have been ordered and delivered. There's some other little tidbits in there that you might enjoy. Uh, I got some old, you have to pardon the vintage uh, VCR footage from the late 70s, early 80s of my truck. Um, what else? Oh, results from the block, um, et cetera, et cetera. So here we go, ready? Boom! There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. Okay, I'm going to try and make this short and painless. These are the switches that I got to match everything else, and that is going to fire off the wigwags, which flashes my headlights. These are license plate lights that I got to light the bed. These are turn signal lenses, and then I got the appropriate sockets for the back of them. All of my wiring's pretty shot. There's the side markers. I got some gaskets for those, and here's the electrical connection for those as well. Um, these are special plugs for the billet taillights for the 65 Mustang taillights. Had to get a new high beam switch. Got a washer bottle. Um, got the washer bottle pump, and got some new washer bottle pump lines. Uh, got some aftermarket grill parts, but I don't think they're high quality. I've got them offline, and these were stock uh, tie downs that I had one broken on. Who was the pilot? He was. <laughs> Get in trouble, wouldn't he? How come? Because he ain't supposed to be up. Because he doesn't have a minimum strength. Oh. Uh, See, he has to maintain a thousand feet over a populated area. Oh. Uh, and 500 feet below the cloud. Where do you, in an, an exclusive off camera interview, where do you think he's going to go? I think he's going over to Lindero Canyon on the north side. And they're not there, West Valley. Because he's headed up to here. <laughs> well, here, with all the uh, bureaucratic uh, to quote a phrase, uh, the local fog. I am fed up with the local fog, I believe, for his exact words. Uh, I see, okay. And he's going to go uh, try and sign. <laughs> and the Hoden Broden. Uh, Ribba flavor. Uh, where do you think he's going to wind up? Well, how's uh, City Hall sound? <laughs> But this is why we magnaflux and check things. Um, and it also explains why this is the area of the lifter valley that had rust in it. And so that's a, that's a pretty significant crack and more than likely it was seeping coolant into here. So, so we will get a hold of Michael, see what he wants to do and probably try to find another block. But again, really important that you get this stuff checked for cracks because I, I'm telling you right now before I magged it I couldn't see that it looked perfectly fine so magnafluxing is very very quick. after getting the news that my block was cracked uh, the other day I um, well Carrie and myself we've been scouring Craigslist trying to find a block uh, he found three but none of them were acceptable and I found one today, so my son drove, I don't know, whatever, 100 miles or something to go get this block. So hopefully he shot some video, I think he probably will. So let's take a look at that and see what he got me. Yeah, 1973 motorhome. That's the way it came. Yeah. Except for the ignite. 
get a little clean, but you know, from setting so long and stuff like that, had 4,800 miles on the motor. You coop me up in a hotel room long enough, and I'm bound to get silly when I edit. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, you're going to have to stand by for the delivery of the block to Carrie, my Vintage Iron 7512. Check out his channel, it's pretty cool. And thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. P.S. I got Eric. A little bit of help to work on my truck because I know he needs it. <laughs>